Well, I guess, uh, first of all, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'd say maybe a little bit better today, but yeah, um, yeah not something I've dealt with before. So, um, yeah, just sucks. So it sucks uh, that it had to happen, especially at that time. But I don't know, everybody, most guys are playing through stuff. So it's, it's uh, just the way playoffs are. And long season, like we've been playing for 10 months or 100 games. So yeah. um, guys have dealt with stuff all year. But, yeah, this one's new for me. I assume it happened on the hit. Um, could you, like, because you finished that game, didn't, mm. I mean, at least watching you, you didn't seem to be very hampered. Then obviously mm. the next game you came back, it looked like you were kind yeah. of struggling through. Could you just kind of like take us through the timeline of mm. when you realized it happened, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I got hit and I knew something was was off. Um, tried to play a power play right after yeah. that, but went to the room, got it checked out, did a few x-rays. Did, I don't even remember if I did a few x-rays, actually. Um, but then I was going to come back out, and then they told me I had to do concussion swatting, so I missed, like, a long time and um, doing that, and then came back out and, I don't know, just didn't know if it was going to be my last game or my last period or my last shift, so try to do everything we can, and we won the game, which was great, and um, the next few days were, were pretty tough. Um, like, just getting in and out of bed and... Um, yeah, needed needed help getting like onto the table here to get treatment or, um, but like everybody played a huge part in getting me to play that game. I mean, my brother was staying with me and had to get me out of bed and get me dressed to come to the rink and um, like I had guys tie my skates and put on my jersey and um, yeah, just just helped me with everything. So um, you know, I was I'm happy that I was able to attempt and play that game but I knew I wasn't myself so um you know I, I it's just it's hard to like play when I, I mean there were there were 12 better options than me for forwards basically at that point so I was not uh yeah I knew it wasn't myself but yeah I tried to get everything I can and can hold my head high knowing that I did everything possible to, to try to play this is the kind of thing, like, can you get surgery on it? Is it a thing that you just have to let heal? Like, just yeah. what, what, what will the process be now yeah, for you in the off season? Yeah, we're just talking about that today, but um, I, I'm sure either way it's going to be a little bit of time. So I don't know what the, what the route is, though. Can you I, – I, none of I've never broken a sternum. I don't know how bad. <laughs> I imagine if it kept you out of a Stanley Cup final game, it was quite, quite awful. Mm -hmm. How – if you're needing help getting in and out of bed, help tying your skates, how did you play a hockey game? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I just kind of like what I said, like I didn't know if it was gonna be like my last one of the year, um, whatever. So I just told them like, let's put everything into that one game and um, get me through it and lasted. I, I realistically lasted like half a period before like it was, it was tough. So. Um, but yeah, just try to find a way, and yeah, that's what everybody was doing. Was, are, do you know if you're the first player ever to score a goal with a fractured sternum? <laughs> I do not know that, <laughs> but um, yeah, that would be. I, I mean, I, I don't know if people have played through it or not before, but um, yeah, like I, I think that game though, like when you when you get something like that, like you can get through that game, like all the adrenaline, like you're in it and. The last thing you want to do is be told like you can't play, um, but then when you wake up the next day, like that's where it, that's where it sinks in, and that's where it feels the worst probably. Paul Maurice said that Radko has an ankle that should have been six weeks, and he missed a period. Mm -hmm. Ekblad had apparently somewhere between four and seventy-three different injuries that he was playing through. Like Benny was banged up. Like what does it say? I mean, I, I get that hockey players are different. I understand that, but. What's it say about the room that yeah. so many guys were willing to play through so much pain to try to win this thing? Yeah, it just shows like how bad we want it, which makes it that much harder now. So, um, like, and that's just stuff that like you guys know about. And it's, I mean, there's there's so many things throughout the season that that I mean, it's just such a grind and to get to where we are. And like, it, it was such an unbelievable season to be a part of, and my first one down here, and just seeing like how. Like injuries aside, but just seeing like how the team has changed from the start to the end, like you know what guys are 
willing to do like for the end result and we all saw that down the stretch and have some <clears throat> like have some unreal memories for a lifetime from this run and from this year and um we know that i mean nothing is guaranteed but we know that we have guys in the age range that if we do all the right things we can hopefully give ourselves a chance at playoffs for a bunch of years and then you see what happens just one more thing about the adrenaline. The last thing we see from you is you're trying to score the goal there in game four at the very end, and then you're cross-checking someone at the end. You know, it didn't look like you were in any pain. Is that just something that just the adrenaline does take over? Uh, yeah, I mean, in that play, I wasn't really looking for much contact after the game. I was trying to save everything I could, um, just pain-wise. But... Uh, yeah, like when you're in it, you're in it. You don't want to be, <clears throat> you don't want to be doing it halfway. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons why you know I, I couldn't go for game five is, you know, I, me giving everything I had. Like that's one thing, but if it's not enough, and if it's, you know, like you still got to go out there and win the game. Um, there are, you know, twelve better options than me for that game. So, um, adrenaline takes care of some things, but if you're, you know, if you're laboring that much and doesn't matter if you're giving it your all or everything you have. Like sometimes it's just, you just can't do it. So, um, but yeah, I, I can help, I can hold my head high knowing that I did absolutely I could. So, um, you know, with, with that being said, the end result isn't isn't what we wanted, but it was such an amazing year, and the way it ended is going to sting. But I'm sure in a week, a month, whatever, we'll have so many great memories, and yeah, it was it was a hell of a run. We were big on dates and anniversaries. It's been a 11 months, so in a month it'll be a year since the trade that, that brought you here. Some of the highlights for you, I mean, I, I would think it's been a kind of a whirlwind year with the All-Star, with moving here, with all the stuff that's going on, the playoffs, mm -hmm. obviously. Anything like really stand out or any mm – -hmm. what will you take from this year? I was actually thinking about this. Uh, we were talking like when we were flying back yesterday. It's – I, I'd say the easy thing that people would think would be, you know, the the big wins or you know some of the big goals or whatever. Like uh, to me, it's just the people that like I was able to do it with and the guys. And I don't know, like after winning around at team meal that night, just like shoot about whatever. Like I I don't know. Like those are the moments I'm gonna miss. Like it's the uh, I don't know playing cards on the plane or you know. In playoffs, we're together like 24/7 at home on the road. So um, these last few months, it's been uh, you know some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. So I think that's what I'm going to miss the most, and just like the chemistry we had. Um, everybody knows you're never going to have the same team year after year. So um, whatever happens, happens. But just so many unreal memories with, that nobody will ever know about because. It wasn't the stuff that was on camera during the game. So the game was great, the the rinks, the atmospheres and everything, but I think it's the stuff away from the rink with the guys that was that was the most fun. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you Thanks guys. Thank you, Greg. Thanks.